Welcome to our presentation of the Helio 3D electrical module. This video is about the basic concept of the electric. Video tutorials for training will follow up soon. We created a concept which should structure a very complex task, so the result is a workflow which combines variable creation and editing possibilities with an intuitive builder procedure. The electrical module is separated into two parts, the definition part and the electrical structure, which just provides additional uh, possibilities for representing the results. So we start with the definition part. First we have to build up a device hierarchy. This consists of a logical part. As you can see here, we have a central inverter hierarchy with a combiner box between the inverter and the strings. Any part of this logical hierarchy is a collection which can have one or several devices from the database being connected. Later in the training video we will learn how to do this. A special point in this device hierarchy is the string because we have to build up a complete string definition here. We can do that in this dialog. Here we can name the string definition and we have several options for creating it. In the first part we can set up the array or module configuration, like the number of modules which are wired at the same time. We can set up some options for the string itself, like its length, and we can connect it to an inverter or a combiner box depending on the logical structure we created. As you can see, the string definition selected consists of two racks and the modules are connected by two wires. The string definition is always the last point we have to do in the electrical hierarchy and after that we can go to the device areas. Device areas are zones in the drawing which are marked by polylines where we can put the electrical devices. After registering these areas we can select them and as you can see we see the elements of the device hierarchy and we can select the devices which are part of this device area. Later there will be additional function for limiting the number of devices which can be in this area. One important thing about device areas is that we need at least one device area which includes the grid. Any device area which doesn't include the grid directly has to be connected to this device area by the cable trench. Building up cable trenches is our next point, which we can see here. The trenches are polylines which have to be connected to at least one device area. When the connection hierarchy is complete, so the cable trench starts like here and it's connected to a device area up to the grid, the flow of current is displayed at each end of the trench. These signs signalize that the hierarchy is completed up to that point. We can now go back to the lists and create layout zones. There can be different layout zones for any field. The layout zones split the field into several regions which are created depending on the connection possibility to the cable trench. For that we have to create a general setup for the complete field. We have to select the device hierarchy, a string definition, and we have to add any cable trench which might be used in this field and the device areas which are part of the hierarchy this field belongs to. Now we tell Helios to create selection sets. In this example we have two selection sets. The lower one colored yellow is connected to the southern cable trench and the upper one is green and connected to the northern cable trench. If we open the tree here we have several entries. One for all three tables, one for all tables and one for each selection set. 
Down here we can create a placement for any of these selection sets. The placement means the wiring beginning at the modules up to the grid connection. Our first selection set, colored in yellow, we start wiring at the left side and at the lower end of the module. We place our combiners at the trench and we just want to connect to the southern cable trench. Now we say place and we can see that the symbols for the strings are placed above the markings for our selection set. Here we can see the results of the placement. The strings are displayed in different colors in the upper triangles always running over through racks. The combiner boxes placed at the end of the rows always close to the cable trench. An inverter and a transformer in the first device area and the grid connection in the second area. The string wiring is on an extra layer and we can switch it on here so we can see the string connection so we can see the wiring inside the string here. Now we can do that again for the second selection set. Here we start at the upper corner. We go to the cable trench again and we just select the northern cable trench. The results are similar. One thing we have to mention is that the last table in each row is not placed at the moment. That's because we have a two rack string definition and a single table cannot be placed with this. For that we would have to add another string definition and to change our selection sets. We will go into these details in our training tutorials. For better overview we can change the displaying. So now we have a little more detail of the table and we can have a look at the concrete wirings. For that we have uh, different structures. Here still on our definition tab we have these two possibilities of displaying the cables in detail. For example we can go to this collection and we can display all soil to trench connections. We can see now here the, trench, uh, the soil to trench connections go from the post of the table to the cable trench. Another connection would be table to the soil which goes from the upper corner to the post and down to the soil. Uh, we of course we can display the complete wiring which would mean if we go it uh, from the end to the beginning so we go from the grid to the device area from the device area to the trenches and from the trenches to the post into the combiner box back from the combiner box to the post to the end of the table and here the string connects all tables and strings and inside the single strings we go to the table and we have the single module wirings. Another possibility for looking at the results would be switching these off and going to the electrical structure tab. Here again we can switch on and off some layers but this time it's connected to uh, special devices. For example we can double click this inverter so Helios automatically zooms in and we can see the inverter here and we can switch on the layers for the complete cabling for this inverter. That means this inverter is connected to both cable trenches 
any string on the lower selection set is connected to this inverter and the last three rows of the upper selection set are connected too. All strings of the uh, other two rows are connected to the second inverter. So, I hope I have given you a general overview about the functionality of the electrical part, how to build up an electrical layout, and about the possibilities of analyzing the result, displaying it in different steps. If you are interested in the details, please go on with the training tutorials and have fun with the electrical planning.